Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. And I'm Kyle Linsky. A teacher's interaction with a child at St. Rita's School for the Deaf in Evendale has gone viral on social media. That teacher is now under investigation. The incident occurred last Tuesday, but video of it surfaced on Facebook this weekend, and now it's received hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah, Paula, the incident involves a teacher here at the school who appears uh, upset with a student. She scoops her up under her arm, marches down the hallway, and either drops her or places her at the feet of another staff member. Take a look at the video. You decide. The woman lifting up the child is a 27-year-old teacher at St. Rita School for the Deaf. The child is a 9-year-old third grader there. The video is a bit glitchy, but it appears the teacher is agitated. She either drops or places the child on the floor and in sign language says, I'm done, as she walks away. The child remains on the floor at the feet of the other staff. She told me that her teacher had thrown her. This is the mother of the little girl, Lexi Wells. She says she thought at first her daughter may have been exaggerating, but when Lexi went to the school, she says staff showed her the surveillance video. What were your thoughts when you first saw that video? I mean, I was absolutely outraged, livid. You ended up posting this video on Facebook. Why? I was upset. I wanted other people to get upset with me. When you have people that back you, there's more of a chance of action being taken. And action was taken. Police were called in to investigate and the teacher was put on paid administrative leave. The Cincinnati Archdiocese released a statement saying any actions by a St. Rita school staff member that do not exemplify respect and dignity for the children entrusted to our care are addressed promptly. The safety of students and staff at St. Rita school is of paramount importance. And the video went viral with about 200,000 views so far, but some parents of students at the school are skeptical. Because of the video has such question, there's questionable, it's, there's glitches in it. I would say, you know, maybe she did set her down. That was possible. Magella Lynch says even if the teacher was not as gentle as some would hope, she would cut her slack because of the difficulty of working with special needs kids. And if it was my daughter, I would say I, I would set her down, you know, and there's moments where you just need to say, I'm done. I need to walk away. And there's points where you just need to do that. And, and, and she did. I think she did the right thing. By Lexi could not disagree more. Because you have been trained to deal with people with different types of special needs and different disabilities, you should have been able to conduct yourself in a different manner. There's no excuse. Now, Lexi's daughter is back at the school. When we asked Lexi if she's comfortable with that, she said she really doesn't have much of a choice because the next closest school for the deaf is in Columbus. In Evendale, this is David Winter, Local 12 News. Thank you, David. Local 12 will stay on top of the story and let you know what the St. Rita and the police investigations conclude.